Hyper family, welcome back to the channel. And yes, I do know that I have been gone for quite some time. And frankly, with me being gone, I have heard a lot of things in the community. With the new promo that comes out on Monday being Mix Up Monday. And also, what, cover athletes being moved to Sunday. And with pack odds. So, have I still been playing Madden? Yes, I have been playing Madden. I just haven't had time to record. Holiday is a crazy family members coming in. So I, I didn't have my recording stuff to my disposal because I didn't have my room. Yes, I do still live with my parents if any of y'all was wondering. But I still have been playing. I am behind on the season level. As you can see, I'm only level season level 30. But the main thing that I do want to talk about and with a lot of stuff that I have been seeing ever since, you know, Team Diamonds came out, it's been a, quite of an uproar with pack odds, pack rewards, everything dealing with in-game content, not only to the people that spend money, but to the people that is trying to do no money spent. With the recent promo that we just released, we have Mix Up Monday with Gilmore, Allen, and Pacheco. All good cards, but the problem is, is that you see that these cards have no sets the same as cover athletes. So, if there's no sets, then you will automatically assume that, you know, pack odds should be at least better or you need to at least have a type of pack that's going to at least give you a chance at that card. Well, with we'll Mix Up Monday, if we go right here to the marketplace, I want to say I did open up all of them just to test out and see if they were any good. I don't even know if I have. No, I don't even have the uh, the limited time offer that they had. So pretty much you had a what buy one, get two free. And for the mix up Monday packs, you only have five at your disposal. And I want to say, if I do remember, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. The chances of you pulling a 92 out of those packs was at a 3.2. Not good at all. And so I don't expect a lot of people to go ahead, like this video, see this video, because it's a different style of video. Because, you know, I'm more of a, you know, hey, let's go out, let's chase this card, or we're going to do a gameplay on them. But I do see that there is a problem within the community when it comes to this stuff. Now, last year, I did take part in the pack strike. Not saying that I'm already one to, you know, just open packs willy nilly anyway to just always trying to chase the new card. That's not the case. But if I do, am I, if I'm a fan of that card or I'm a fan of that team, then yeah, you know, I'm going to open up a bundle here or there to try to have my best chances of getting it. And EA has done better as far as, you know, guaranteeing a champion when you do spend $100 or whatnot. But I do like, so that's not bad. I would say the only issues that I would just have this year when it comes to Madden in general, like gameplay, you know, there's no such thing as defense right now. Like, you just got to go out there. You just got to freestyle. Like, I'm okay with that. But the fact that you see right here, Isaiah Pacheco, 1.4 million coins is what the catalog says he is. And so, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6. Granted, he is really the best strong safety in the game. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't be expensive. I'm not saying that at all. But I would like to get back to the point of Madden where, oh, you have a rare card. They're expensive. I feel as if, you know, LTDs, Isaiah Pacheco, we'll use him as an example. Best card, like best card in his position. Not saying that he should cost as much as this Todd Gurley and TJ Watt. I mean, JJ Watt. Not saying that. But for him to be an LTD, okay, let him be like 800K. Let him be 750 to 850. Like, that's still a hefty price tag to go ahead and pay for any, any card in this game. And, like, that's point blank. And not a lot of people is going to be able to do that. 
But, you know, for the people that does have the coins or does pull them, it's not like pulling teeth and it's just so hard to go ahead and do. So, if, like, if you go ahead, you take a look at my team right here. Yes, I have spent money on this game. Y'all have seen me do pack openings. My team is, yes, I run a Miami Dolphins theme, theme team, but I still use cars that came out, what? This right tackle has been out since, what, August, September? Like, I'm not the type of person to go ahead and, you know, I need each and every card or I need to have the best to every position. Like, that's not it. But let's say I did want Isaiah Pacheco on my team. Granted, I do have almost 2 million coins. It's not hard to make coins in this game, especially with Team Diamond sets being out and everything being at an influx price. So if y'all want me to make a video on that, hey, let me know. I'll show y'all what I've been doing to profit off of these Team Diamond sets. But I do want to say that if I did want Isaiah Pacheco at strong safety, I shouldn't have to pay $1.4 million. And that's not even with Isaiah Pacheco. It's a lot of limiteds now. And we're starting to see that the pull rates on these are maybe a lot lower than what EA is advertising them to be. Because I do want to say the, what, Derek Singletary that came out today, he's going for about $1.3 million. It's giving the same vibes or the same concept of when Legends would come out for Madden 23. And I distinctly remember Cameron Wake 90 overall going for about 1.5 million. And that was it. Until he got reduxed. There was no other way to go ahead and get that card last year. Or nothing like that. So. This video is to, you know, it's just a try to spread more awareness i do know i'm a smaller channel so not many people are going to see this but the main takeaway that i do want to go ahead and pull away yes ea does need to go ahead and make pack eyes better and they also need to for next season because i don't expect them to change anything this season because we're way too far in but if you go right here competitive pass you was able to go ahead and get a free legend player that updated that updated every time overalls went up like that benefited no money spent people so well to go ahead make coins make profit and just give them a chance you know to make any type of coins to build up whatever type of team they're building instead they were placed it with two legend packs Two legend packs. Hold on, let's let's go back up in here. So you get two legend packs at level twenty seven, right? And then they took away the other free legend player that you will get at level fifty three. Granted, we're not even going to talk about the compass rewards with the uh, Darnell Washington and the Jack Campbell. They're solid cards. They're, they're not going to be the best at their position by the time we're even able to get that Darnell Washington. But with two legend packs and you grind all the way out your comp pass or whatnot and you make it to level 53. Let's go ahead. Let's go over here to select offers. And let's see. 115,000 coins. We're going to go ahead and we're going to buy this for the video. This is pretty much what you're going to get when you get to level 53 or whatever, or yeah, level 53, I think for the compass, that's it. You may have eyes boost and they'll be pretty, pretty decent. 286 overalls. They're going for 80. They're going for 16 K. So at the bare minimum, yes, like you would get this and there's always that chance of, you know, getting that hit getting that but it's not guaranteed like how they were doing it and so that was that was pretty much my main issue like i was not not uh buying packs or being active with this competitive uh this competitive pass because of that i just haven't had time to but i have seen a lot of people complaining 
on and on about, you know, where is this? Where is that? Why are pack eyes like this? Why are pack eyes like that? And like, frankly, like if you wasn't around back in Madden 15, Madden, Madden 25 was my first ever Madden that I played Ultimate Team. And Madden 15 on up until like the past two or three years, like that was peak Madden. Like it was great. Like, yeah, like those cars was expensive, but they also made it accessible for, you know, to get them. Now, it was some promos where those cars was not easily able to get or whatnot, but it wasn't as many bugs. It wasn't as many glitches. It wasn't as many, oh, let's take this back and not do it again. Like, that's all I'm saying. Like, you can't start off with something. And then see how good or how much people are using it to their advantage to not to take it away. Like, that would be my only issue with it. So, that'll just like, that's just really my little ill will spiel about everything. Do I, do I agree with what EA is doing? No, I don't. Are they going to look at this channel? Probably not. And so that's just the reality that you have to that you have to take. But, you know, hey, that's me. Let me know down below. How do you feel about the comp pass, the pack odds, LTDs costing so much? I'm curious to see what y'all have to say. As always, I do love you all tremendously. We're, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe before you head out. And until next time, my brothers and sisters. I'm out.